What News 4 Investigates has uncovered tonight raises questions about the qualifications of the pilot at the helm of a deadly plane crash. That pilot, Joe Lara, his wife and five other members of Remnant Church died when the plane crashed into Percy Priest Lake on May 29th. We've obtained documents, audio and video about Lara introduced in court before the crash. Our chief investigative reporter Jeremy Finley obtained all this and Jeremy, why was this all introduced in court? Well, Marius, it was part of a contentious child support case in which the mother of Laura's young daughter tried to prevent him from flying their daughter before the crash. Get some help. Please get some help. You're a sick, sick girl. That's Joe Laura. Get some help. Get some help. Recorded by his ex-girlfriend, Natasha Pavlovich, one of several contentious videos introduced in their battle over child support for their daughter. A battle that revealed questions about whether Laura was qualified to be piloting a plane the day of the deadly crash. And it's all about this, a medical certificate. It determines if a pilot is healthy enough to fly. Once it's granted, it's good for two years for someone of Laura's age. The first red flag introduced in court, if Laura's was active. The FAA's database at the time of the crash showed it wasn't. But his wife's church, Remnant Fellowship, gave News 4 Investigates what they said was an active second-class medical certificate. Now listen to what Laura testified in court in the month before the crash about that certificate. My class, my second class medical expired. So wait a minute, Laura testified it expired, but the church document shows it was still in effect? And there's more. In 2015, in sworn testimony, Laura is asked about any medical condition for which his California medical marijuana card was issued. His response, insomnia. Now look at the FAA's rules. Medical conditions that chronically interfere with sleep are disqualifying, regardless of whether a sleep aid is used or not. And pilots should not be issued medical certificates for anyone using medicinal marijuana. Laura responded in court the last time he smoked marijuana was 2015. But in Pavlovich's emails to try and prevent him from flying their daughter, citing legitimate concerns for her safety, she cites her daughter finding pipes in her father's bedroom in 2019 and her father smelling like weed the same year. All right, according to the NTSB, Laura did have an active second class medical certificate. But did the FAA and the NTSB know about what was revealed in court? All the NT NTSB will say is that Laura's health is part of their investigation. We also reached out to the church and Laura's attorney requesting comment. Only the attorney responded saying he could not comment because this is a confidential juvenile court proceeding and the church did not answer our question about that certificate. Marius. Jeremy, it is jaw dropping what you just found out, but it's also important to note that we don't know what caused the crash. Well, that's right. It's important to say that we don't know. The NTSB has not finished their investigation and we don't know if Laura's health has anything to do with it. But regardless, there are questions about that certificate. Tracy.